Why, hello there, everybody. It's your friendly neighborhood beanie wearing, plaid rocking hipster girl. You've probably seen me in your local indie coffee shop listening to the best indie music with a pencil behind my ear and reciting poetry. My mistress sighs and nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, by then her breasts are done. Hair be wires, black wires grow on her head. I also wear glasses, but do I actually need them? That's for me to know and you to find out. Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Laura here and today I'm wearing this beanie to cover up the fact that the top of my hair looks like absolute shit. The bottom of my hair looks banging. These are little braids. There's like a bajillion braids all braided together. Uh, lockdown life, eh? And I'm also rocking my Dan and Phil shirt. Way get in there. OG YouTubers. Come on, Laura, get back to the bloody point. So, today I thought we could have a little bit of fun. Today we're going to be doing a two in one. We're going to be doing an unboxing and a taste test, which I'm really excited about. So, some of you might have heard of a coffee company called Beanies. They do these flavoured coffees and this one is called Cookie Dough and I absolutely love it. Yes, I'm a basic bitch. Cookie Dough ice cream is my favourite. Deal with it. An Instagram story ad came up and they had a deal on where you could get four jars for a tenner and didn't have to pay delivery. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. You know, plunging right in there. What was this? Not a clue. Just want to put out a disclaimer. Hashtag not spons. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for this with my own money. I promise. I wish I was, but you know, not sponsored. So I ordered the four coffees and um, I'm really excited to taste them with you guys. Whoa. Oh, yes, I took the sticker off. Now we're gonna open it. Ha <laughs> ha. They say you shouldn't play with knives, but that <laughs> could have been nasty. Yeah. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Eh. It won't. Shit. There we go. Waha! So these are the coffees that I'm going to be taste testing with you guys today. We have white chocolate and raspberry, which is one of my favorite food combinations of all time. We have pumpkin spice, which, I mean, I'm a basic white girl, I love pumpkin spice lattes, so I'm very, very excited to try this. And also, how aesthetically pleasing is this jar? It actually kind of matches my look. Definitely getting that hipster vibe. You know, I don't support a company that doesn't pay taxes. I prefer like an indie company or to make my own. So this is the pumpkin spice and oh, it's so warming and it's like for fall, it's amazing. Wait, what the fuck? I'm from Britain. We don't call it fall. A fall is what happens when you trip over your own feet. We call it autumn. Anyway, moving on. The next one is... Ooh, maple fudge. How very gourmet. A friend of mine, Amy, actually reached out to me and said she tried this one and said it's really good. I hope you're right, Amy. I do love maple. Maple's really great. I'm basically Canadian at this point. Oh my god, I sound like Christine. It's time to steep the coffee, not the tea. I need to stop. And then the final flavor, woo, is birthday cake i hear a lot about birthday cake birthday cake oreos birthday cake this birthday cake that it's like all right birthday cake coffee like let's let's do this this box empty yay well what i'm gonna do is go and get four mugs to differentiate i'm gonna get some milk I'm gonna get some hot water and I'm gonna get some sweetness, not sugar. I mean, I know it's controversial, like I'm not diabetic, so why would I have sweetness? I have members of my family who are diabetic and uh, I don't know, I just tried it and really liked it and I kind of prefer the taste, although if they don't have sweetness then I will take sugar, you know? I'm rambling, I need to shut the fuck up. Okay, so I'm gonna go get our supplies and let the experimenting commence. So I'm very excited. I will be back with my supplies, so I'll see you in a little bit. 
Ta-da! Here we have all of the supplies we're gonna need for this experiment. So we have a glass of milk for them strong bones. Am I right, lads? Oh. Who drinks straight milk? That is just rank. Sweeteners. Mug with Hello Kitty on it. Another mug with a Cyberman on it. Yep, another mug. This one was from my friend Josh and it says, if you don't get my Harry Potter references, then there is something seriously wrong with you. Ba -dum -tsh. Yeah. Another mug. This time it has a TARDIS on it. How cute is that? It's bigger on the inside. That's what she said. A jug of hot water because coffee. And of course, one, two, three, four coffees. I think I'm gonna go with the white chocolate and raspberry one first. This is what she looks like. She's very pretty. I'm gonna go with the Hello Kitty mug for this one. So, let's open her up. Ah, there we go. Ooh, she smells good. Right, I'm gonna take a teaspoon of this, dump it in the mug, add a little bit of hot water, splash of milk. That should do it. There we go. That should do it. Stir it up. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. Oh. Oh, I didn't put another sweetener in. I was meant to put two sweeteners in. I'm a Muppet. Yeah, that's better. But it's still a bit bitter. Like, it feels... Hmm. I don't know. It tastes like... Kind of bitter. Okay, beanies. I'm working with you. I'm working with you. It gets better the more you sip it. But, hmm. I don't think it's my favourite, unfortunately. So, I'm going to give this... Maybe like a two out of five. It's quite bitter. I probably wouldn't get it again. You know, I will drink it eventually. Or I might just use it to dye paper for journaling. I don't know. Because remember, hipster attire, journaling. They go together like ram a lam a lam a ka ding a ding da dong. Yeah. So, white chocolate and raspberry can yeet. Moving on, next victim, we're gonna go with the pumpkin spice. I'm really excited about this one. This one's definitely the most like hipster white girl, I think. But I think we're gonna go with the Cyberman mug because this is kind of cute. I mean, it does not match my outfit perfectly, but let's do it. Oh my God, she smelled good. She smelled good. Mm. Alright, if I don't like this, I'm just gonna straight up snort it. Mm. That's about right. Oh my god. Right. Ooh, let's give this a go. Ooh! That's actually quite nice. Mmm. It's very intense. I will give you that. It's very, very, very intense. It's quite warming. I think if I added some vanilla syrup into this, it would be like, whoa. Oh, I love milky coffee, so. It is nicer than the white chocolate raspberry though. I will give you that. It's nice. Not my favorite, but it's nice. I will say it is better than the white chocolate raspberry. I'm going to give it, oh. Maybe a 2.5? Yeah, let's go with a 2.5. Not great, but not bad at all. Next, we're gonna go with the maple fudge. Now, this had better be good. I know that Amy really liked it, so let's see if I like it. Which mug shall we have? I think because we had the Cyberman for the pumpkin spice, let's break out the TARDIS for this one. So, let's do this. You know, I thought the pumpkin spice one smelled good, but... Oh my god. You know what? I'll just pro 
probably not end up actually drinking these. I'll probably just end up crushing them and snorting them because they smell so good. You could make perfume out of these. Actually, maybe not. Don't do that. Here we go. Maybe bouncing it on my knee was not a good idea. You know what? Live life in the fast lane. Okay. It smells really good. All right, let's give it a go. Oh, that's lovely. That is really nice. That is amazing. Like that. Ooh, Amy, you done good. That's a good recommendation. Oh my god. Oh, it's nice. It's fudgy. It's not really much maple though. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's still got the bitter thing, which obviously it's coffee. Like hello, of course it will. But mm, that's good. That's really nice. I really like this one. So, you know, it's warming and it's going to be perfect for autumn. So, yeah, yeah. Woo! So what would I give this out of five? I'm going to go with a four. I mean, it's not absolutely perfect, but we're going to go with a four out of five for the maple fudge. You are currently in the lead, so get hype. Right, final coffee time. It is the birthday cake. Let's do it. Oh, holy shit. That, oh, that is intense. That is like, oh, that is sickly sweet smelling. What the? I don't, I don't know. I don't love the smell. It smells really sickly sweet. But Jesus. Yeah, it looks right. I regret this so much. I hope this tastes better than it smells. Hold your noses, kids. Let's do this. Hmm. Oh. I'm not sure about that. What? What is wrong with it? Oh, God. It's got the same problem as the white chocolate and raspberry. It is far too bitter and, oh no that actually makes me want to gag that is gross i really don't like that like no it's really really bitter and it doesn't even taste like birthday cake what the hell no 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 you know i'm sad like that was the one i was most excited for and uh yeah, pretty disappointed in that. Oh, you know what? I don't care that this is hot water. I need to cleanse it. Ugh, that's better. It just doesn't taste right. It just tastes weird. So, you know what? I'm just going to give it a one out of five. I mean, the packaging's cute. You're getting a point for the your looks, but inside you taste like shit. Last place, I'm sure you all know, it's the birthday cake. It just didn't smell right, it didn't taste right, it was too bitter, it had a really bizarre aftertaste, and I had to drink straight up hot water to get rid of it. Absolutely not. What am I going to use this for? Well, I'm going to use this to dye paper for journaling spreads. Not for consumption. Third place, we have... The white chocolate and raspberry and this one again it's had that weird bitter taste which i didn't really love i mean you know the packaging's adorable it smells okay but again i'm not gonna probably drink this one i'm probably again gonna use it to dye pages of journals because hipster life second place we have the pumpkin spice which actually smells really good and i would drink this again it's oh and you know what <clears throat> if i put some vanilla syrup in this it would be even better but you know it was all right the winner of the beanies unboxing taste test challenge 
is the maple fudge. Oh my god, it tasted so good. Like, I really, really like this. Again, I would probably put some syrup in this because I'm one of those weirdos. Maybe with like foamed milk or syrups or something, these coffees would like be incredible. I mean, they're nice on their own. Well, apart from birthday cake, that was just fucking rank. Let's just say this one was beautiful and mm, it wins the award for best scent. Like you smell amazing, sir. Like what is your secret? So there we go. That was my Beanie's coffee taste test. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a little bit different to what I normally do. Again, not sponsored by Beanie's, as you can probably tell, because some of my reviews were quite harsh. So, thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video, leave your comments below, subscribe if you like, and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!